Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Uh, today I am in southern India in Tamil Nadu in a small village and I'm with Halakul and basically he's going to be my guide today. Um, he is going to show me what it's like to go inside a mosque, a Muslim mosque. I've never been inside one. I have no idea what to expect. I don't understand anything. So we have this guy here to, I don't know, explain everything. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. So we made it to the top, but we, we have the wrong key. So now we have to go back down. So yeah, this is a main entrance of the mosque. So well, yeah, all the people are coming around here, so they will go to the uh, ablution area. So we need to clean all your body for the prayer. So this is the cleaning area. So you need to wash your hands and your face and your legs. You need to wash your hands like this. You need to wash your face three times. From here to here. Like full hand from to here. Like this. You need to lightly do the things like this. Then you need to wash clean your legs as well. The people are coming here, they sit down here, wait for the prayer time, they, they just go inside and pray for the Udu. This the student of this um, Arabic school, mm -hmm. so they just came here every morning and evening to study the Arabic classes. Study Arabic? Yeah, study Arabic, yeah. Interesting. They just know how to read the Quran and all the stuff from the Islamic activities, how they do that. You said you can speak a little bit of English, so maybe what is your name? Show me how you read the Quran because everything is in uh, Arabic, right? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yomidin. Iyaka na abudu wa iyaka na stahim. Ikhidina sirat al mustaqim. Sirat al ladina an amta alayhim. Wair al ma'lubi alayhim. Walalalin. So this was music? Uh, this was a song? No, it's, it's not a song like It's not a song? That's just how you speak? No, it's like uh, they are a slang like that to read the Quran. Yeah, it sounded like you were singing a song. No? 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 That's just what it sounds like to me. Interesting. This is a prayer area here. So the Imam will do the prayer, the, uh, the head of the mosque. Like all the people from the village, they, they stand here. They just finish the prayer, then they'll go out. So how many people are in this room at one time? So around like 20 to 30 people here. Ah, are these like the spaces for the people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's right. the spaces for the people like here. So this is the main part for the... This one like... Uh, um, I remember one, so we call it, we can use only on the Friday prayer, this one, uh, the Imam will go upstairs, then stand and do the uh, Friday Kutbah, big God's Kutbah, so like, that's a special one, so it's kind of an uh, ancient thing, so we just follow from the edges. <laughs> we have uh, uh, five times a prayer a day, so it starts from, they call for the prayer like 4.55, people will come to the mosque, like they will start the prayer at 5.25. So in afternoon they call it Saluha. So it, they just call for a prayer like 12:45, and they just uh, start the prayer at one o'clock. So in the evening time the prayer will call at 4:25. They call for the prayer. And then after the 4:40 they just start the prayer here. So it's five or six times per day. Uh, it's, uh, six times. Uh, yeah. The last one is like uh, Friday the special prayer. So they do the 
a lot of like speeches over there in the mosque like around like one hour or half a, half a, like half an hour mm -hmm. so they just start the prayer at the 1:30 so that's a special one this call on friday uh, while everyone died uh, we need to put all the body here casket. yeah casket so we need to take from here from the house to the um, cemetery or they just uh, beside the mosque mm -hmm. a separate uh, prayer hall for the uh, women as well it's kind of bigger than the um, for men so we have a lot of uh, Uh, the women here in our village so it can hold around like 100 women so here for the prayer so they will come for any like festival prayer on we call it eid ul adha or eid ul fitr the two big prayer, uh, festival of muslim people mm -hmm. uh, the women will come here for the prayer for two times in a year otherwise if we have any special two times in a year yeah so the men have to come many times every day yeah so, so the women uh, actually uh, the, uh, uh, the women can pray in their home itself so if they are uh, any yani festival prayer something like that so they will come here they to the prayer here so when the women are in here and praying do they all pray individually alone or is there like someone in the front who is praying with them or so, what? Uh, they just follow the imam of the uh, the imam that head up the prayer they do the prayer in the uh, loudspeaker right so they mm -hmm. follow the loudspeaker or they follow the imam what does this word qiblat mean qiblat means the the direction of the kaaba uh, this is the kaaba we need to face the kaaba for the prayer uh -huh. so in india we need to face the west side so if you are in us you need to face in the east side so okay. previously we have the pool over here to clean your bodies like awesome. before going to the prayer so uh, it's kind of a, a lot of cost for the my maintaining cost so we just demolish that so we just put the floor on that so that's why we can use it for a lobby here now so while we are fasting time we just uh, that distribute here the food for the fasting guys so who are fasting they just come here for to break the fast so where are we going now we are going to the cemetery now the cemetery yeah okay so is every so, area that has a mosque have a uh, cemetery yeah interesting okay uh, every village they have this separate place have a lock boy it's kind of different than the christians one like probably they have the headstones in the us like but ours is somewhat different you can see in our culture like um, uh, everyone has the same place here in cemetery like no one has a special place something like you for a king you for a leader something like that so everyone goes to this place like for a from a poor to the higher high society guy anything you can call it so you can go to this place like same for everyone so it sounds like when they bury you everyone is facing the same direction your yeah. feet are facing the south yeah. your head is facing the north yeah. and then they tilt your head to face the west yeah That's the face in the direction of the Qibla. Ah, okay. It's starting to get a little bit dark, so we have to sort of end the video now. But it's interesting. Um, I've never been in a mosque before, so this was kind of a fun little tour for me. And then we had helpers. Say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this small little tour. Thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.